Hello and welcome to Couples Drive, where married couples share their stories from when they met, courted, got married, and beyond. I'm your host, Atuboyan. This week, we're continuing from where we left off with Carla and Fabienne. This is part two of my ride with them. Take a look. one thing about your wife that you, you don't like so much <laughs> <laughs> or if you can write a book about it oh <laughs> man I can write, write a book about it I can definitely write a book about it yeah her, her, her anger she does get a little upset pretty quick she gets it uh, one little thing I say you know fire up you know so really yeah uh-huh she looks very nice she looks very nice huh? <laughs> she doesn't look yeah don't let, her, don't let her fool you but she <laughs> she could be a little spicy. a little spicy a little spicy, <laughs> spicy. Yeah, yeah. yeah very spicy um like give me an example so. what, what what triggers that kind of you know okay okay Last, yesterday <laughs> yesterday she could be like honey you forgot to take out the trash can you take it out you forgot to take out the trash again. <laughs> like, okay. Okay, but hold on. How many times? How many times have okay, you forgotten you to take okay, out the I trash? But just the way that her attitude no, is sometimes very is... aggressive. Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I feel like you know she could be she could be very very nice, mm -hmm. but when she's upset, she's very upset. <laughs> Tell you that. And have have you communicated that to her? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And has. <laughs> Has there been any change in the adjustment? She, uh, yeah, she, cool, she worked cool. on it. She did. She worked on it a little bit. But you know what? I feel like as she's getting comfortable, <laughs> it's time to come back again. So I'm going to need to have that talk with her again <laughs> to make sure we're <laughs> Kayla, on the what same about page. You? <laughs> what, things that, about Fabian uh -huh. that I don't like? Yes. Um, I think it's just, um, well, his not, business. Not, not including the trash. I'm not including the trash. <laughs> okay. Um, well, sometimes he could just be very self-absorbed, like in in his world and what he's doing. Okay. So he's. I love that he he's a hard worker. He's one of. Aside from my dad, he's one of the most hardworking men I know, and my brother. But, I mean, he he because he's so he's such a hustler, mm -hmm. that kind of takes over his life. So, you know, I would like for him to plan something for us which you know he doesn't do so much because mm -hmm. he's so busy with work mm -hmm. so that's something that I feel like eventually it takes a toll on our relationship mm -hmm. you know if he neglects um, putting in the same amount of effort into our relationship as as he does into his job or into other things um, yeah and I feel it takes like, a, it takes yeah, a toll on it does, us it definitely does me you know not putting as much time as I should to my relationship mm -hmm. in the beginning when I first opened the business that's exactly I I totally forgot about our relationship but that was our first year of being mm -hmm. married should have been like the happiest year of, of our relationship but mm -hmm. I put so much time into work because I was like I just had to open the business and I had her to make it successful and I was mm -hmm. working like 16 hours a day every day so I just we wouldn't plan anything for us we wouldn't go out on the weekend as much during the week you know, we we I would see her only at night. We go to bed, wake up, and I would go back to work. So it was not giving her enough time. Um, does have a lot of, to do with uh, your relationship. You know, you got to make sure that you're always able to balance both. If you could balance work and relationships, that makes that makes the, the best. Yeah, so it helps a successful. It's a successful. Yeah, it helps um, keep the relationship um, healthy. And has he adjusted, or is he working on it? Um, he tried. I, I adjusted a lot more. Yeah. Uh, this this year, I'm hoping to adjust a lot more by you know, taking myself out of the business and hiring some more employees to okay. run some of the day day to day uh, um, jobs that I do at work. So like this, I can focus on, you know, giving more time to our relationship. Because mm -hmm. I noticed, I, I know that I didn't do that in the beginning, and I want to make sure that that's the time is always there for for us, whether. Same, like she's saying, getting home, eating dinner together, talking about our day, planning uh, the weekend for us and stuff like that. I want to be able to do that because I know that's going to that's gonna be the thing to keep us together for a very, very long time. Right. And is this something that uh, she had to bring up 
all the time. Many times. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I mean it, it was we were we almost didn't make it to be honest with you. We Really? We got yeah. so low that we we got divorce papers and he signed the divorce papers and I signed them. At what point after you guys were married? After, after we were that, married. yeah. After the big ceremony. After the big ceremony. That was uh, not not too long ago because things wouldn't change and um that's interesting. And I yeah, was just, we I was we working, almost gave up. We was, almost yeah. gave up. And but you know, suddenly But what yeah, that's what I was gonna do. What changed? What what Well I mean I had to talk to him. I wrote the things out for him and I said, Look, like this is what's gonna save our relationship. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm doing I'm telling you these things because I don't just wanna lose you, mm -hmm. but I can't be in this relationship if it's like this. And he literally put everything, he stopped everything. He took me away to um, Santa Barbara, which is about two hours from here. And okay. we did, um, we did like a winery tour. And I think that weekend really helped us like, you know, remember what we wanted. And then, and then we hit rock bottom again. Um, and, and then, and then was like, that, was it the same reason? This, Say, yeah, it was, it was uh, much. This second time was a little financing part of it. I feel right. like you know the business yeah. was uh, in the slow season. It was in the in the, in the winter when it's a little slower. Okay. So I, I feel like you know the money was making us um, argue a bit um, at that moment. You know, because bills had to be paid. Right. And we wanted to be able to go out and stuff like that, and the, and the finances wasn't there mm -hmm. to be able to do all that. So that kind of um, started it up a little bit again. But uh, as we, we were able to, you know talk it out and then get through that little part the hard part okay. and eventually you know I started um, business started picking up a lot more and things were getting better where now he took he took one day off out of the week I um, took, to yeah, be with me I actually took some time off work because I was able to get some employees in there uh, like I said finances a little better now so I feel like you know the time money is always gonna be an issue but you gotta just kind of figure out a way to fix that uh, but the time it's what's gonna be the main thing you gotta always make sure you, you give her like I noticed once I start giving her more time mm -hmm. like it fix so many things yeah. I had to just give her be more give her more and that's what <laughs> that's what all all ladies want that's what all girls want they want more time they want all your time they want your whole day with you so I had to just I saw I started, started giving her more time I felt like that started helping a lot with our relationship you know and having us be closer together so Tell her, it, was it him being there or the fact that you guys didn't have time to communicate? Yeah, so so even if he was there, mm -hmm. he would be working on his phone. Oh. Or he would be like daydreaming about something that he had to do. You know, so it wasn't the fact that he was there. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that there's the communication. If you're not talking, we're not, we can't talk about number one, something that was so important like the finances, mm -hmm. right? And the problems behind that and how could I help you fix that? How could I help us improve on, on that? What's mm -hmm. happening if you're not talking to me? If you want to do everything, you know, try to figure it out on your own. Well, that's, that's, that's going to be a problem. So, yeah, the communication. Also, the was, fact that you felt left out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, because he took on a lot of it by himself. And we, we weren't communicating. We weren't working as a team. We weren't so, working Do you think it was because of the way you were brought up? Uh, kind, kind, nah, well, I guess I just wanted to do it all by myself, kind of. And I would just, I was, I, at the moment, I feel like I was all over the place. Mm -hmm. I wasn't organized at all. And that's what she's very good at, organizing and doing one thing, mm -hmm. get it done. And I was trying to start a bunch of stuff at the same time. But he and wasn't I wasn't able to finish, finish I wasn't finishing them all. What he started. I would start one and then do it halfway and leave it. Mm -hmm. Start another thing. So eventually that causes... That, cost a lot more failure right you know you have to start a task and be able to finish it but like he said he wanted to do it by himself and um yeah uh, so when you guys had that conversation how did you fix it what adjustment did you make well you know what the thing was that we talked it out together mm -hmm. and we said like look this is where we're at and this is what we need to be at like so we, that part there i feel like we worked together it's like okay she started giving me ideas on what we should do how to, how can we you know bring the money back bring the finance up a little bit mm -hmm. how can we make the gym a little better how can we uh, make our members um like stay. like stay with us mm -hmm. you know and not cancel and um and it was it was something you know for the both of us like we we've never been self-employed i've always worked for you know other people right. 
and so has he. So for us to leave our jobs and do this independently, I mean, we knew that there were, he, and he tried to tell me, and my friends tried to tell me, you know, there's going to be bumps along the way, but, mm -hmm. you know, you guys have to work together. And so when he started finally to understand how important it was for him to work with me and to listen to, you know, my ideas, um, then I think things started to change, you know, and then I would listen to his ideas and, you know, I, I had to bend and, and agree with like his strategies mm -hmm. and, and it slowly, you know, just by listening to each other and giving each other the opportunity to like try it. Okay. Like, look, that didn't, we tried it. It didn't work. So let's try something else. Right. Now let's try it my way. You know, like that compromise, um, mm -hmm. that started to change right. yeah, the, so. the business part of it. Um, so working together, I feel like it's what helped us, you know, put ideas together and actually started bringing the finance mm -hmm. back up because we started seeing like, okay, you know, this is working, this is not working, let's keep, because I, I didn't go to college and I didn't go to school okay. for, to learn how to do a business. I just, I've, you know, I've learned off on my own from working at different gyms and I was like, okay, well, I learned everything that I thought was good mm -hmm. and everything that I knew wasn't good at other gyms, so... I went off of that, and then little by little, I started um, implementing some of the stuff that I knew, and then I I learned as I went, as little by little as I was going, I was learning more and more. Um, so I feel that you know, just having her on board um, with the business and getting her ideas, having her sharing sharing everything with her, like like this, what's happening, this what we're going to do next, helped a lot. Communicating okay. with that part. Do you do you guys have the same bank account or? keep your finances together as a married uh, couple or you have separate we, bank accounts? We have them separated. We okay. have them separated. Uh, we do have one, the business account okay. that we both have access to. Okay. Uh, but we all have, we both have our personal account and then we just pay from the business account, we pay each other. And that's... Um, okay, so you oh, you pay each other into your individual account? Into yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, it's... Uh, Is, has that been helpful to you guys? Or... Because yeah. other, other married couples actually tend to keep their finances together. Um, uh, I feel like, well, because I, I think um, I think at the beginning it was just um, I didn't have access to the business account, mm -hmm. um, and then I I I was giving put I was putting in work at the business as well. So I think now that we I have access to it and there's like mm -hmm. communication I know what's going on what what's mm -hmm. being spent what money's coming in um, all that helps us run our business and then um, you know there's consistency with like what bills we need to we need to pay you know okay. he he's responsible for certain things I'm responsible for certain things it's not perfect it's definitely not perfect um, I before the marriage right I had my own bills that um, mm -hmm. I had to pay for that I was responsible for mm -hmm. and he had his own bills that he mm -hmm. was responsible for so um, that 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 remains okay. I am responsible for my my bills and he is responsible for his you guys don't have any babies now right I'm I'm pregnant yeah so she's three months pregnant right now <laughs> congratulations thank you thank you Wow, so you are going to be a father. Are you excited about it? Yeah, I'm very excited. How did you feel when she told you? I was very excited. You know, really? we've been we've been trying to have a baby for mm -hmm. a while, and we did. We struggled. Okay. So that was another thing that also made us um, argue a bit that we we wanted a baby. She wanted a baby, mm -hmm. and it was hard for us to have a baby. And finally, you know, God blessed us with the baby, and now she's um, having it. I was I was very excited because of how hard we try to have a baby and all the things that we've done. That finally we're actually it's been a miracle that we're having a baby wow so uh, we're, congratulations we're, again thank you we're very we're, we're very um excited about excited it, about it wow. I, can, I can imagine the excitement yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so if there is one thing color that you used to do as a single lady that you had to stop put an end to when you get married just so you can save your marriage or to ensure that your husband is happy what was that or what would that be <laughs> um uh, well there, i mean there were a few things that i did okay so what um, about <laughs> well i i mean i was i was pretty uh i mean i, I did whatever i wanted you know i i i 
I broke some hearts. I broke a lot of, a lot of hearts. Um, <laughs> um, but I also, you know, if I wanted to go out with my friends. You broke a lot of hearts. Well, is it because you didn't know what you want? Or is it because you didn't spend time to know people? Or? I know. I mean, I just, I mean, when I, when I knew that I, when I lost interest in a person, I mean, that person might as well just have been dead to me. Like they died, they passed away. I like, that was it. And that, I know I, I heard that, I heard a lot of guys by doing that. So now looking back, you think it was good you heard those guys with what you have? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, yeah, okay. absolutely. But I, I mean, it's not like, I can't just, you know, pick up the phone and say, all right, let's go out, you know, with my girlfriends. And mm -hmm. it's just, you know, that, that changed totally. That okay. totally changed. Um, yeah. And, and also just being more, um, open you know like letting myself be loved okay. i didn't i didn't do that before and letting fabian in was was something new um as far as like spending so much time with like mm -hmm. one person that was that was new okay fabian what about you um what changes did you have to make or things that you had you had to let go you know i feel like i didn't make too many changes mm -hmm. i one thing i i, I was i I, I'm a little selfish, I, I can say, mm -hmm. and I've been working on that. I do put a lot of time just to myself, and I do things for myself a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've been working on that, on trying to like, not just think about myself, mm -hmm. but also think about me and her now. Okay. Uh, but one thing before, it was just all, I was by myself, and it was all about me, and I, whatever I needed to do, I would do that for myself. Was now that difficult just, for you to adjust to? Well, to make that change? Uh, a little bit was because I just wasn't used to it. Okay. I had, um, I wasn't used to it. Uh, making sure that, you know, that she had food, she had dinner as well. Mm -hmm. It was not just for myself, it was for me and for her. You know, if I needed to um, pick up something for both of us, for me, I would always make sure I asked her now to make sure she needed anything as well. Who but does the was, cooking? She does the cooking right now. She a uh, good cook? She does most of the cooking, yeah. A good cook. She's a good Very cook. Very good, yeah. Really? When I first met her, I was like, man, this food is from like a restaurant. It's so good. Like I never ate food like that. Like I usually, which is regular. My food was very plain. <laughs> <laughs> my food was very, very plain. It had no flavor, which is simple. And it was cooked and that was it. With hers, it was like, it has flavor and it's, you know, it looks very nice and it tastes so good. And I was like, you know, I was very um, amazed with the food that I was eating from her. So she's a really good um, cook. Carla, what do you think is Fabian's love language? Taking care of him. So like okay. doing little things for him, whether it's taking him food or listening to him or supporting him in, in a project that he has in mind, mm -hmm. that will make him so happy. If I, if I agree with what he, his vision is, mm -hmm. that I think that makes him really happy. And then obviously me being, you know, like affectionate towards him. Um, mm -hmm. I think that that makes him happy too like he he does like to know that he's wanted or that i want him that he's my desire i think mm -hmm. that keeps him you know happy did she get it right yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah what about you what is what is hers what do you think really makes it come alive um you know well keeping her entertained <laughs> now making sure making sure that she's uh doing something at all times she doesn't like she doesn't like to be bored or doing the same thing repetitively. Oh, really? repetitively. So she does like to be always be doing different things. So if I can get her to always every weekend we do something different, or even during the week, if I can mm -hmm. try to surprise her with something, mm -hmm. that would just keep her in love the whole time. Just keeping her um, things that she's not expecting, giving her things that she's not expecting. And so far, has she been uh, has she been doing that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so, right? <laughs> like, and I I think he also missed like buying me things. Like but, buying yeah. buying me things is is important to me. <laughs> what like do you mean things like what? It could be like it could be. Well, he used when he we first started dating. Flowers was a big thing. Oh yeah. So like he would always come with flowers and like a box of chocolates and like that was really sweet. Or did he, he would, stop? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, I haven't had flowers in a long time. Well, Fabian, uh, I got I've been a little busy. Fabian, listen. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or I, know, like I gotta a, keep He would that. buy me like a dress. Like okay. he would always buy me like new dresses or just um, 
you know, just little, little, little I would buy things. your shoes a lot. I would buy your... Shoes, yeah. Um, just, you know, just something that, that to me is like, I love that. That okay. makes me like so happy. And, um, but, but putting in the effort lately and, you know, having the baby was like a big thing mm -hmm. because we struggled with fertility and that was, I wanted to make sure that that was important to him and, okay. um, you know, he, he did his part and so we're, we're pretty happy now. Good. Good job on doing your part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing that you want to tell little Calla getting married or looking for a man to marry. What would be your advice to her? He's going to be nothing that you expected. He's going to be more than what you could have ever hoped for. But you have to be patient and you have to um, love him un unconditionally. Okay, regardless of what he comes with. Regardless of what he knows, what he ha doesn't know, what he's, where he's been, where he hasn't been. Just love him because no one's going to love him, love you as much as he loves you. What would you tell little Fabian, who is getting ready to, you know, find a woman to settle down with? What are some qualities that you think he should have, or the woman should have? What would you tell little Fabian? Uh, definitely, like I said, someone that's going to take care of you for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Make sure that, you know, you see yourself with that person 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now. Like, that's the one that you want to be, like, you know, the one that you want your kids to be, ra to be raised to. Um, someone that's you're never gonna fall out of love with you know you gotta make sure you tell yourself that like okay this is the person and this is who I want to be with for the rest of my life like once you ask yourself that like okay like so many people told me like you gotta marry her you gotta marry her and I was like okay well, all these people are telling me that like and I thought about it I was like you know what and then the way she takes care of me and what I, what I want for the future what she wants for the future like okay that's that's it that's perfect you know so that's what I was like okay this is it that's who I want hey welcome back that was the concluding part of my ride with Carla and Fabienne. I hope you learned something from them as usual. I'll see you next time with another couple. Until then, let's keep love alive. Bye.